Code of Professional Responsibility Chapter 4 The Lawyer and the Client Canon 14 a lawyer shall not refuse his services to the needy. Rule 14.1 A lawyer shall not decline to represent a person solely on account of the latter's race, sex, creed, or status of life, or because of his own opinion regarding the guilt of said person. Rule 14.2 A lawyer shall not decline, except for serious and sufficient cause, an appointment as counsel of the official or as amicus curiae or a request from the Integrated Bar of the Philippines or any of its chapter for rendition of free legal aid. Rule 14.3 A lawyer may refuse to accept representation of a client if a. He is in no position to carry out the work effectively or competently b. He labors under conflict of interest between him and the prospective client or between a present client and the prospective client. Rule 14.4 A lawyer who accepts the cost of a person unable to pay his professional fees shall observe the same standard of conduct governing his relations with paying clients. Canon 15 A lawyer shall observe candor, fairness, and loyalty in all his dealings and transactions with his client. Rule 15.1 A lawyer, in conferring with a prospective client, shall ascertain as soon as practicable whether the matter would involve a conflict with another client or his own interest, and if so, shall forthwith inform the prospective client. Rule 15.2 a lawyer shall be bound by the rule on privileged communication in respect of matters disclosed to him by a prospective client. Rule 15.3 A lawyer shall not represent conflicting interest except by written consent of all concerned given after a full disclosure of the facts. Rule 15.4 A lawyer may, in the written consent of all concerned, act as mediator, conciliator, or arbitrator in settling disputes. Rule 15.5 A lawyer, when advising his client, shall give a candid and honest opinion on the merits and probable results of the client's case, neither overstating nor understating the prospects of the case. Rule 15.6 A lawyer shall not state or imply that he is able to influence any public official, tribunal, or legislative body. Rule 15.7 A lawyer shall impress upon his client compliance with the laws and the principles of fairness. Rule 15.8 A lawyer who is engaged in another profession or occupation concurrently with the practice of law shall make clear to his client whether he is acting as a lawyer or in another capacity. Canon 16 A lawyer shall hold in trust all monies and properties of his client that may come into his profession. Rule 16.01 A lawyer shall account for all money or property collected or received for or from the client. Rule 16.02 A lawyer shall keep the funds of each client separate and apart from his own and those of others kept by him. Rule 16.03 A lawyer shall deliver the funds and property of his client when due or upon demand. However, he shall have a lien over the funds and may apply so much thereof as may be necessary to satisfy his lawful fees and disbursements, giving notice promptly thereafter to his client. He shall also have a lien to the same extent on all judgments and executions he has secured for his client as provided for in the rules of court. Rule 16.04 A lawyer shall not borrow money from his client unless the client's interests are fully protected by the nature of the case or by independent advice 
neither shall a lawyer lend money to a client except when in the interest of justice he has to advance necessary expenses in a legal matter he is handling for the client. Canon 17. A lawyer owes fidelity to the cause of his client, and he shall be mindful of the trust and confidence reposed in him. Canon 18. A lawyer shall serve his client with competence and diligence. Rule 18.01. A, a lawyer shall not undertake a legal service which he knows or should know that he is not qualified to render. However, he may render such service if, with the consent of his client, he can, ob he can obtain as collaborating counsel a lawyer who is competent on the matter. Rule 18.02 A lawyer shall not handle any legal matter without adequate preparation. Rule 18.03 a lawyer shall not neglect a legal matter entrusted to him, and his negligence in connection therewith shall render him liable. Rule 18.04 A lawyer shall keep the client informed of the status of his case and shall respond within a reasonable time to the client's request for information. Canon 19. A lawyer shall represent his client with zeal within the bounds of the law. Rule 19.01. A lawyer shall employ only fair and honest means to attain the lawful objectives of his client and shall not present, participate in presenting, or threaten to present unfounded criminal charges to obtain an improper advantage in any case or proceeding. Rule 19.02. A lawyer who has received information that his client has, in any course of the representation, perpetrated a fraud upon a person or tribunal, shall promptly call upon the client to rectify the same, and failing which he shall terminate the relationship with such client in accordance with the rules of court. Rule 19.03 a lawyer shall not allow his client to dictate the procedure in handling the case. Canon 20 A lawyer shall charge only fair and reasonable fees. Rule 20.01 a lawyer shall be guided by the following factors in determining his fees. A. The time spent and the extent of the service rendered or required. B. The novelty and difficulty of the questions involved. C. The importance of the subject matter. D. The skill demanded. E. The probability of losing other employment as a result of acceptance of the preferred case. F. The customary charges for similar services and the schedule of fees of the IBP chapter to which he belongs. G. The amount involved in the controversy and the benefits resulting to the client from the service. H. The contingency or certainty of compensation. I. The character of the employment, whether occasional or established. And J. The professional standing of the lawyer. Rule 20.02. A lawyer shall, in case of referral, with the consent of the client, be entitled to a division of fees in proportion to the work performed and responsibility assumed. Rule 20.03. A lawyer shall not, without the full knowledge and consent of the client, accept any fee, reward, costs, commission, interest, rebate, or forwarding allowance or other compensation whatsoever related to his professional employment from anyone other than the client. Rule 20.04 
a lawyer shall avoid controversies with clients concerning his compensation and shall resort to a judicial action only to prevent imposition, injustice, or fraud. Canon 21. A lawyer shall preserve the confidence and secrets of his client even after the attorney-client relation is terminated. Rule 21.01. A lawyer shall not reveal the confidences or secrets of his client except a when authorized by the client after acquainting him of the consequences of the disclosure, b when required by law, c when necessary to collect his fees or to defend himself, his employees, or associates, or by judicial action. Rule 21.02 A lawyer shall not, to the disadvantage of his client, use information acquired in the course of employment, nor shall he use the same to his own advantage or to that of a third person, unless the client with full knowledge of the circumstances consents thereto. Rule 21.03 a lawyer shall not, without the written consent of his client, give information from his files to an outside agency seeking such information for auditing, statistical, bookkeeping, accounting, data processing, or any similar purpose. Rule 21.04 A lawyer may disclose the affairs of a client of the firm to partners or associates thereof unless prohibited by the client. Rule 21.05 A lawyer shall adopt such measures as may be required to prevent those whose services are utilized by him from disclosing or using confidences or secrets of the clients. Rule 21.06 A lawyer shall avoid indiscreet conversation about a client's affairs even with members of his family. Rule 21.07, a lawyer shall not reveal that he has been consulted about a particular case except to avoid possible conflict of interest. Canon 22. A lawyer shall withdraw his services only for good cause and upon notice appropriate in these circumstances. Rule 22.01 A lawyer may withdraw his services in any of the following case. A. When the client pursues an illegal or immoral course of conduct in connection with the matter he is handling. B. When the client insists that the lawyer pursue conduct violative of these canons and rules. C. When his inability to work with co-counsel will not promote the best interest of the client. D. When the mental or physical condition of the lawyer renders it difficult for him to carry out the employment effectively. E. When the client deliberately fails to pay the fees for the services or fails to comply with the return agreement. F. When the lawyer is elected or appointed to public office. And G other similar cases. Rule 22.02 .02, A lawyer who withdraws or is discharged shall subject to a return lion immediately turn over all papers and property to which the client is entitled and shall cooperate with his successor in the orderly transfer of the matter including all information necessary for the proper handling of the matter.